right? Uh, let's try and hopefully pack this up by the weekend. I want to be free. Hopefully, gonna go have some fun on the weekend. Yeah. Wow. Good. What do you think? You have finally showed me a Jimny, and I have yeah. to say, man, isn't it beautiful? This is love at first sight. I want to buy it. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Man, I've had such a hard time yeah. taking the keys from my own family. What are you saying, dude? Yeah. I think convincing my family will be the hardest part to buying this car. Yeah, you will. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. It's amazing, right? Yeah. How do I convince them, man? Man, I don't know how you will convince them. But I'm going yeah, to Bombay, yeah. and you can take care of it for me. Mm. Best friends. Have fun. Yeah. Run it up. So, my good friend Karan, he's been very kind to me. He's lent me his Jimny for a couple of days, and I have brought it here to the holy city of Haridwar. To get some peace of mind, to get some clarity, and basically to be able to convince my family that the Jimny should be their next car. And I'm sure a lot of you have the same problem. How do you convince your family to go buy the Jimny? Well, here's how. Now, the first person you'll have to convince will probably be your sibling, your brother or your sister, elder, younger, doesn't matter. I think the point you should make to them is that the Jimny is a sexy looking car. I mean, look at it, that boxy appeal, those squared off looks, that retro vibe that's going on, but it still gets modern design elements. And I mean, all the way from Delhi to Haridwar, people have been giving the Jimny second, third, fourth glances. I mean, people sum up the courage to come up to you, walk up to you, talk about the car and tell you what they think about it. And everyone, everyone's been of the opinion that this is a pretty, pretty good looking car. Okay, so the next person you'll have to convince will probably be your mother and this one's going to be a little bit more trickier. The problem here is that moms, they are practical and people don't think that off-roaders are practical. But let me tell you this, they are, in the case of the Jimny, very much practical and that's because it's such a narrow car, it's such a small car, it can squeeze into gaps, it can just make itself at home in any parking spot. Apart from that, the glass area inside the cabin, it just gives you so much visibility of what's around you. And most importantly, it's one of the easier cars to drive because people think that off-roaders can be very difficult to drive, but with the Jimny, that's not the case, especially with the four-speed auto that we have over here. This thing on the highway was a gem of a car. It just sat at cruising speeds all day long. I had enough grunt to make overtakes. So I think, your mom, she'll come around on the subject.
So the next person to convince will be your dad. And this one's going to be super, super hard because you can never win with dads when it comes to buying a new car. They are always right. Well, I've got an answer for you over here. And dads love a super practical, comfortable driving position. And that's what the Jimny gets. It's got a high set driving position. It's super comfortable. The seats, you really sink into them and you can spend hours in it and you will still be comfortable. I mean, look at me. I've driven all the way from Delhi to Haridwar over here, been doing some off-roading, and I'm fresh as a daisy. Apart from that, dads also love value for money. And in that case, the Jimny is completely in a different league. I mean, the amount of fun it's promising for the money it's asking, it's insane. And apart from that, it's a Suzuki. I mean, it's got a 1.5-litre naturally aspirated engine. It's bulletproof. You can abuse this car. You won't really have to put in a lot of money to get it serviced. I mean, spares are cheap. Just make that argument. Your dad will be sold. So, you've gotten your brother, your sister convinced, you've gotten your mother convinced, you've gotten even your father convinced. But now, you have to convince yourself also. And why? Because self-doubt is part of the process when you're going to go buy a new car. And I mean, you don't need to doubt yourself. I mean, look at the Jimny. The reason you want to buy it is because it's such a capable off-roader. And I can vouch for that. Look around me. All these places you see, there's not one place the Jimny could not go. So that freedom we talk about, that ability to be able to just get up and go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen, that's the Mahathir Suzuki Jimny. <laughs>